for tuning in to another episode of Form the Review. I'm your host, Charles May, and today I'm very lucky to be sharing with you the actual first Porsche I've ever featured here from San Francisco Sports Cars, and that is, of course, this Manzori Edition Porsche Cayenne. Obviously not your typical Porsche, uh, really cool aftermarket body kit, extremely rare, so very excited to share with you today, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Time to take this killer whale of a car out on the road. Uh, this thing <laughs> definitely looks like chamois with the black and white uh, configuration here with the carbon fiber. And for Willet Scrape, this is an SUV, but you need to be a little bit careful because the body kit does come down a little bit. And of course, you have those low profile wheels, which uh, you know, can watch out for potholes and stuff like that. But no scrapage, so we're good. So on the interior of the car, you're not going to see that much of a transformation as compared to the outside. That's where the carbon fiber and the front and rear apron and the wheels are. Uh, and inside, you literally just have a badge here on the passenger side, on the dash. Uh, but I like it because the Porsche interior is pretty nice as it is, so no need to spend a bunch of uh, money complicating that. Uh, you have a nice Alcantara headliner, leather throughout the car, so it's pretty nice already. All right, so we're coming up on a tunnel here. So we're in sport mode and sport suspension, I believe. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a punch here. See if we can get some uh, some notes here out of the exhaust. Wow, look at that McLaren. Oh baby, wow, that is a great color. Whew. GT Kiwi. Wow, he is boogieing. He is boogieing. Now I'm going to try and keep up with him. This is a fast car, but that is a very, very fast car. So the first thing I really like about this car is the colors. Um, you know, white is the most simple of all colors, probably. And it works extremely well with the carbon fiber accents. I've seen this car with the, you know, the red and the blue, uh, different colors on the body kit. But it doesn't really go so well together. There's something so simple and, you know, it's a high contrast. You know, the, the white and the, and the carbon fiber loop really, really looks good from all angles. I think it takes away from the overall look of the car when you go with a blue or a red. It just doesn't really seem to work as well. So this is technically, if I had to get one, you know, spec'd out for my own, this is the exact same colors I would go with. Just the flat white with the, the carbon fiber. It's really, really simple and really elegant. The second thing I really like about this Manzori Edition is the fact that they use some really high quality carbon fiber. This carbon fiber's got a, almost like a larger scale weave, if you will. It's not so small and microscopic as you see on other versions, uh, which is nice because you can see the texture more from further away. And a lot of uh, previous car companies that use them, you know, this car's from 2013, a lot of older models um, for other manufacturers, the carbon fiber, when they use it, it's cheap, it delaminates, um, it starts to fade really easy, it starts cracking. This car is absolutely holding up. I've looked at all the carbon fiber around it, really, really holding up well over time. And it's, it's used so well throughout the whole car. Side view mirrors, inserts on the front, uh, the front hood right here. Uh, around the headlights, it's really, really nice. The, the rear has got some really nice um, uh, a lip on top of it to help cascade the air over the top of the car. Even the diffuser, um, it's got this really unique, uh, unique way of channeling the air up you know, when it comes around the body. That's one of the most important parts, you know, when you're 
creating a, you know aftermarket body kit like this is that the airflow works really well. You don't want to have excessive wind noise, and uh, the carbon fiber accents on this absolutely, you know, definitely you can tell their the performance and they're they're actually helping guide the air around the car a lot better. So really, really nice to use some carbon fiber and the way it was styled around the car is really, really spot on. The third thing I really love about this Manzori Porsche is the fact that it is a turbo. Uh, the 997s and the 996 turbos are some of my favorite cars ever made. And honestly, I don't think I'd feel comfortable owning this car if it was not a turbo. Uh, it's a massive car. It does weigh a lot. Uh, but this car can get up and go if needed. You throw it into sports mode. You can punch it down here, just downshifting. Give it some gas. And those turbos actually sound really great. Um, the car, you know, the front, you can actually hear the intake of the air uh, coming through the, uh, the cabin there. And Porsche actually is really good at minimizing the noise inside the cabin, but it's still, you can still hear the turbos and how they're spooling up, and uh, you know, especially when you downshift. But the one thing I like about this car is the fact that it is a turbo. Uh, it is necessary, and you know, this car, for how much it weighs, can really get up and boogie, especially in some of the lower end gears uh, here on the highway. It's a little less impressive, but when you're going from a dead stop or you're you know, going about 20, 30 miles, it can really, really get up and go. And it's for such a massive car, it's really impressive how quickly it can get up and go. So one of the reasons why I chose this car in particular, um, you know, Manzori, is that it's not very well known. You know, it's actually very hard to find stats on this car, uh, pricing and stuff like that. Uh, one thing I can't tell you is that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo used to own one of these cars. Um, so a lot of uh, celebrities, or some celebrities, do own Manzori editions. Uh, Manny Cosby, who's a very popular uh, car collector in Southern California, actually has a Manzori um, Bugatti Veyron. It's carbon fiber from front to end, uh, which is really, really nice with gold wheels gold accents etc but these cars are pretty rare I think this is one of three in the United States I really haven't seen any other photos or any other for sale um, I've seen some over in Europe um, you know different colors and stuff like that but this car is something that's not a lot of people know about and I know this is not everyone's cup of tea most people are gonna look at this and say oh you know that's pr pretty uh, odd looking but um, I actually overall like the look of the car it's got the uh, definitely looks like a killer whale to me it's got a massive presence um, so I really think this is something that you know deserves to be shared with you guys. I, I didn't want, I didn't know a ton about it, so I really want to see what it's like to drive one of these cars. And yes, there's different versions, of different models, and different manufacturers get different uh, kits. But I think this is a really unique opportunity to share something that's pretty rare and just not that well known. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Formula Review. It's been an absolute pleasure to be able to share this Manzori edition uh, Porsche Cayenne Turbo with you. So uh, again, this is something that is not, not really well known, not a lot of them out on the streets. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite uh, aftermarket body kit manufacturer, uh, Liberty Walk, Brabus, Manzori. Uh, Liberty Walk was one of my favorites for a long time, uh, but I really, really like the uh, this one, this Manzori edition Porsche. Um, so let me know. Actually, I think Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo owned this exact same uh, car with the white and the black, uh, or the dark carbon fiber. Uh, so I think his had a black hood. So let me know in the comments below what is your favorite uh, aftermarket body uh, manufacturer, or you know, especially what car as well. The Ventador that Manzori makes is absolutely mental. I'll include a photo of that for you guys to check out and. Of course, Manny Cosby and Manzori. Uh, Veyron is very, very special. Carbon fiber body panels from front to end or the gold wheels. I was lucky enough to see that at Car Week, so that was really special. In fact, I saw a Manzori edition uh, uh, Bentley GT down in Florida, which was really, really cool as well. Really nice baby blue color. So I'm really, really excited to be able to share this with you. This car is about $119,000. And contact Brad at San Francisco Sports Cars if you have any interest. Uh, this car actually only has about 7,500 miles on it, so really, really low mileage. Um, you know, these cars are pretty expensive uh, right out of the gate, so this one's nice, you know, very unique, and it's a one hell of a grocery getter. So, if you want more information, reach out to Brad. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next episode.